Shooting clubs are popping up all around Taiwan, catering to people looking to learn how to handle firearms in case they might someday have to use them. We don't want to see the situation across the Taiwan Strait escalate, but there is always a sense of threat for those of us living in Taiwan. So we want to learn more about how to use firearms through signing up for different courses. We use air guns for training, and of course they are different from using real firearms. But we tell participants that practicing with them can help them grasp the basic before they begin training with a real thing. Other groups like the Forward Alliance run outreach programs focusing on community emergency response. They believe the most important thing Taiwan can do to prepare for any disaster is to make sure residents are well equipped to weather hardship and adversity. An important thing brought up today is preparing an emergency go bag. It's not something everyone has. That's a start for us to think about what we can grab and go during a disaster. We used a car accident to teach people about the concept of situational awareness, which can be applied in all kinds of scenarios, whether they're natural disasters or man-made incidents. For any emergency or wartime response to work, communications are paramount. Some groups focus on keeping people talking when normal channels of communication are sidelined. Those of us in the field of radio communications have a duty to help the government build a reliable communication system during war. We were the first team to set up a communication network after a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck central Taiwan on September 11, 19. People like me, who go to disaster areas to help establish communications, come from all walks of life. We often practice, whenever we have time, to prepare for emergencies like typhoons and power outages. CNA, Taipei.